Immigration and Passport Office and attempting to extract payment from recipients of the letter. The Ministry of National Security takes St. Kitts and Nevis passport and visa fraud very seriously, they really said, and will work with its national security counterparts in the other territories to end fraudulent practices. The release ended by advising persons how to apply for a St. Kitts Nevis visa, which is done completely online. Persons should visit evisa.stkittsnevisonline.com to access the application process. Once the online application has been submitted with the required information, the applicant will receive an email confirming that the application has been received. It takes about 7 to 10 days, the release says, to process the application. If additional information is needed by the Ministry of National Security, the individual or host is contacted. If the application is approved, a confirmation travel letter is sent via email to the applicant in the form of an electronic entry visa, EEV. It is important to note, however, that this document does not guarantee entry into the country. The release added that it is important to also note that a photo of the applicant is not included in the document. The processing fee is payable to the Immigration Department upon arrival in St. Kitts and Nevis. For urgent matters, the EVV can be contacted by dialing 465-8470 or email sknvisa at gov.kn. I'm Andre Huey reporting for SKN Newsline.